Hi guys, and welcome back to the farmhouse. Our two habanero plants are going absolutely nuts and we have loads and loads of peppers and running out of things to do with them. So today I'm gonna to try a new hot sauce recipe. Um, I found this from Meg on the Holler Homestead. She does it, so I figured we would try it too. So we're gonna make some hot sauce with our habaneros. I will link the recipe below for you. I am just using it as a base and we will see what happens, but let's make some hot sauce. This hot sauce recipe comes from the National Food Service of Preservation. Um, that's where I got the recipe from, or the base of the recipe from. I'll link it below for you. Large stock pot, we're gonna start with eight cups of diced tomatoes. The recipe calls for a cup and a half of serrano peppers. We didn't grow serrano peppers, we grew habaneros, which are hotter. So we are going to try this with a little over a fourth a cup of habaneros. We'll test it, see how it tastes. If it's not enough, then we will add some more. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add four cups of white vinegar. Now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of canning salt. Now I'm gonna to put together a mixture of pickling spices. I'm gonna make a homemade pickling spice. So it's going to call for two tablespoons of black peppercorn. I'm gonna just mix this in a mason jar. Then I need two tablespoons of mustard seed. Funny thing is, is when I was a kid, we used to take this mustard seed and grow it and plant it. It was just something we did as a kid. It was fun. We used to grow it on sponges. All right, two tablespoons of coriander. tablespoons of dill seed. One tablespoon of whole allspice berries. Then I'm gonna do one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna do about five crushed bay leaves. If I can get them out. One. Two. We're gonna call that one a half. <laughs> Four. Five. I'm gonna put the lid on this, shake it up. There we got it. All right, back to our hot sauce recipe. I'm going to take two tablespoons of this pickling mixture 
and put it in a spice bag. Tie this up really good. Then I'm going to add it in to our hot sauce pot. I'm going to turn this on medium heat and I want it to simmer for about 15 minutes. This is simmered for about 15 minutes. Everything looks pretty soft and pliable. So I'm gonna take the spice bag out of it. Now I'm gonna take the immersion blender and I'm going to blend this all up until it is smooth. I'm gonna turn this back up and let it simmer for a little bit. And then I'm gonna have Jamie test it. We'll see how hot it is. Minor boo-boo. I forgot to film Jamie and I tasting it, but it is really, really good. So I'm not gonna add anything to it. I am gonna set the canner up so that we can can it. It says it makes about seven or eight half pints. So that's what I'm gonna can it in. So I'm gonna go get that set up and we will get it all processed down and canned. My gyres are all heated. I am going to fill them up with hot sauce, making sure I leave a quarter of an inch of headspace. Um, and because I am known for making a mess, I'm gonna make sure that I use my funnel. I have listed all of our canning sp supplies below for you if you guys wanna check it out. But filling these up with a quarter of an inch of headspace. I am gonna wipe the rims down. reason I struggle with some of these bands lately. Alright, back in the canner they go for 10 minutes. I pulled the jars out of the canner after they processed for 15 minutes and then I left them cool. They sat overnight and all of them sealed. Well, yes, all of them sealed. That's my finger. All of them sealed. So we are going to, I labeled them all. We're going to put them in the basement so that we can use them when we are ready to. If you guys want this recipe, like I said, it is linked below for you. If you want more canning recipes, check out the link right here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse and we will talk to you soon.